Hey there! Today's tutorial is an awesome collaboration with It's Gotta Be Sarah C here on YouTube. She did a hoof-trodden grandma and I did this human embodiment of an advent calendar. Go check her out, I'll leave all her links below, but if you want to see how I did this, keep watching. My makeup here is irrelevant, the focus here is these gelatin pieces. I sculpted a raised square on my life cast and cut away the plasticine clay to the cast except for a little flap to keep it adhered. If you have seen my Christmas accident tutorial, you now see my fake eye sculpt. And because I was casting it, I sculpted my advent calendar pieces on my forehead next to it. But you can definitely make a flat mould for this instead. I ran this gelatin mix in this plaster negative that I made using about a teaspoon for each pore and then using my fingers to spread it out and make the edges as thin as I could. My hands have a pretty high heat tolerance and there's not that much heat in this tiny amount of gelatin but whenever you are working with gelatin be mindful of how hot it is. I left this in the fridge to set as the thin edges can tear if the gelatin is too warm when you're removing it. Back to application. I practiced a little on my neck and found my edges sucked so basically what I had to do was apply spirit gum to the back of my gelatin pieces, leaving the flap unstuck, then wait for it to get tacky, and while I was waiting, I'm going to show you here that if you forgot to pull apart the gelatin flaps from the rest of the mold gelatin piece, you can still do it on your skin, it just takes a little bit of a gentle hand to not rip it off your skin. Once the spirit gum's all tacky, I place my piece where I want it, pushing the prosthetic on firm, then I grab some witch hazel and a brush to try to blend the edges as much much as I can. My edges still had a little bit of a ridge. To smooth that out I grab some extra latex on the end of a brush and tap it out with my fingers. If you are unsatisfied with this smoothing out process remember you can always go back in with more latex once it dries. Obligatory warning that latex likes to stick to hair so be careful around your hair and brows. I do the rest of the pieces in the same way but first I check for placement. I found this one on my chin gave off a kind of goatee feel that I wasn't digging and the jaw bits made it even worse. So I ended up moving them to my forehead. Make sure to get your placement right before you fully adhere it with the latexing. My spirit gum is pretty weak so even though these pieces had gum on their backs I could still move them around a lot. Once everything is stuck and you're happy enough with the edges, time to colour match. I use a cream concealer for this and then I powder it with some powder foundation to set the cream. Now to gore it up a little I grab red paradise paint, lift up the calendar flappy bits and paint inside and the edges red. Then I let go of the flap while it's still wet to coat both sides with red. Now the paint is matte and not very blood like so I go in with some fake blood and just go everywhere I just put the paint. I also drip this blood down from the cuts in some areas. The point of this tutorial is more for the calendar than the eye makeup but I was feeling a little basic so I upped the ante with glitter, lashes and rhinestones. And my lips! need a Christmassy feel so I go over them with gold highlighter from the Strobe of Genius palette and I add a couple more specks of blood around and then I had a quick advent calendar snack break and thought hey why not add some contacts and then I kind of realized why I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have put these contacts in they make my face look swollen. But that is it my brethren. Little reminder to go check out It's Gotta Be Sarah C. She actually knows what she's doing and doesn't just wing it like me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you soon and stay classy peeps. <laughs>